I'm Jake Bruton and today on The Build Show we're going to talk about why this house is a zip house but we can't see any zip. Let's do it now. Okay, to start with we are in Virginia Beach, Virginia and we are at Jackson Andrews Building and Design and we're talking to Rick Mills, one of their project managers. Uh, do you project manager or is it senior project manager? It's technically senior project manager. There you go. I just say project manager. Okay, he's modest. Yes. So we just did a blower door on this house. This house tested at 0.67 ACH50, so like that close, that far away from being uh, passive house level of air leakage. And your envelope here is basically zip sheeting. Correct. Like the, the air barrier on this house is zip sheeting across the board. So talk to us about why zip sheeting real quick. Well, we, we love zip sheeting, we've used it for years, but it's a very simple system for getting a continuous air seal you got the sheathing and the tape the guys like working with it it's a, it's a very straightforward so process your, so your air barrier comes in four by eight sheets and all you have to do is detail the seams yep that's the same reason that we love it just so we're clear but that's not what we're seeing here and you were explaining this as there's two different reasons yep. that they're doing this number one is the siding right yes we've got some open joint cladding going on here so we want to make sure there's no green peeking out. Yeah, we don't want to see the green. Yeah. And so the product that we've that you've wrapped the entire house with is this, and it's from Benjamin Obdike, and it's called what? Invisirap. Invisirap. Yep. So this counts as a WRB. Yes. So in theory, you wouldn't have needed the zip if you were just going to use this for a WRB, but then you'd lose potentially air barrier. Does this yeah. count as an air barrier too? I think it, it does. It can if you take yeah. all the seams, joints. Uh, it can be, but we really love the zip. We like this product as well for it really it's our it's our wrb the zip is our air control layer yeah well and if nothing else your zip helps with shear wall mm -hmm. so you're going to have to have that panel anyway and you guys can't see it the ocean's right there like i could throw a baseball into the ocean let's double down and make sure that we're really paying yes. close attention yes. uh and so the second reason that you're using this invisirap this is the lesson that I actually think is the most important here. Walk us through the process with, with you know, timeline, schedule, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's obviously a pretty large project and we knew just the overall time frame and the labor we have out here, we'd be exceeding the Huber 120 day UV life. And so early on, that was just another factor of, let's just protect it with the, the Benjamin Object product. Yeah. And we had Huber out here as we even got past the 120 day, just to re-inspect, hey, is everything looking good? Do you have any concerns? And they were, they thought everything looked great. Okay, so there's a couple really key things there. Number one, they know what the limitations of the project or the product that they're using, and they know that they need to talk to the manufacturer if they're gonna be outside of the normal usage, the UV exposure. The UV exposure is one that I hear people quote all the time, like, Oh yeah, but you can't have it exposed that long. Yeah. Unless you're building a house that's this size, 200,000 cubic feet of interior volume, your 120 day, work faster and get it covered up. Yeah. Definitely. You know, like put siding on the house. It's not the end of the world. If you're still framing at that point, it's either enormous and you should probably just go ahead and have something else on top of it, mm -hmm. or you should talk to your rep and have them come and look at it. And that's the second one, is they reached out to the manufacturer and said, this is what we're doing. Will you come and take a look at it? Will you give us a thumbs up or will you tell us if we have a problem? If we have a problem, what it is, how do we handle this? And the manufacturer said, you're still good. We'll stand behind it. No worries. Yep. And then you guys went, yeah, but we're using an open joint rain screen. So. And then Huber was even better with that yeah. and it was protected. So you better believe that the manufacturer of the sheet good on the wall is going to go, you mean you're putting a WRB on top of it and I don't have to really worry about it? Yeah. Sure. Do it. And this is like a, you know, this is a, a cost-effective product. Obviously, it's not the same price as some of the like very inexpensive, cost-effective mm -hmm. house wraps. But for a product that's black for an open joint rain screen, meaning the siding will have joints in it, and they want this behind it rather than the zip, you're gonna have a hard time beating this. And they make a tape that goes with this as well. So it's one system, one manufacturer again, even mm -hmm. though there's zip behind it. Yep. So. And one other thing with this is they, I believe the UV life on the Invisirap is 12 months if, if it's open. Yeah. Um, and then of course it's, it's much longer up to like a one inch gap in the open joint. So it's, it's a great product. Yeah. So 
pay attention to what the manufacturer says, pay attention to what your job is gonna do to it, and don't hesitate to ask the manufacturer for guidance. So many of us go, this is the way I've done it, I know what I'm doing, I don't have to call the manufacturer. We get cocky, we get self-important or self-indulgent, and then all of a sudden we have a problem where we've we've let something sit out in the UV too long, or yeah. we didn't waterproof in the way that the manufacturer waterproofed because we didn't bother to read the instructions. Well, and sometimes you don't find those problems out until much later problem down the road and they're like oh, yep. well how long was it exposed yep. it looks like maybe it was a little bit of UVA, UV degradation going on behind yeah there. and understanding the risk you can't put siding on a house this size have a problem and then the manufacturer go yeah you're probably gonna have to pull it all off yeah. you know that's a that's a soul that's a crusher lesson <laughs> much less the budget crusher so yeah Rick thanks for having yeah, me man. out here fantastic Absolutely. work I can't wait to see the siding go on the house yeah let's do okay Till next time, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Check the description below for Rick, for Jackson Andrews, and for the hashtag for this project because this thing is really cool and really, really in-depth and they're really knocking it out of the park. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and the podcast on Instagram, Unbuild It Podcast. Uh, Till next time, take it easy.